All right, here's another variation on coloring that comes up surprisingly often. It's the notion of a list coloring. When you're trying to color a planar graph with four colors, on each vertex, you have to choose one of the colors, one, two, three, four. But in a list coloring, you put on every vertex a list. The list that you put on one vertex does not have to be the same as the list you put on another vertex. And then the person coloring must produce a proper coloring, but the color assigned to a vertex can only come from the list. Let's take an example of this because I want you to work with me on the example in the middle where I point out that the complete bipartite graph, so if I take the complete bipartite graph and put in all the edges, nothing's left out, what is the chromatic number of that graph? Two. Okay. So if I put on each vertex a list, one, two, one, two, one, two, on every vertex, if I put the list one, two, one, two, one, two, then you can pick one for all the vertices on one side and two for all the vertices on the other side. When you first begin to think about this, having variation in the list should make the coloring easier. So the idea is that you put Say one, two, and then two, three, and three, four, and eight, eleven. Put a list of size two, but just any two. And now, can the person color the graph from these lists? Because your intuition is, uh, most people, when they first think about this, they say, oh, if you give me different colors, it's easier. But in fact, it can be much harder. And if you take n to be the binomial coefficient, 2t minus 1, choose t, then the list coloring can't be done with list of size t. So it's greater than or equal to t plus 1. And let's explain this. Let's explain this. So I'm going to take the complete bipartite graph k in, in. But n, the number of vertices on each side, is going to be the binomial coefficient c 2t minus 1 choose t. Now, I claim you cannot color that from lists if on every vertex you put one of the subsets of size t. So all the subsets are different, but they're all there, on this side and on this side. And the explanation is trivial. If you only have 2t minus 1 colors, and you can't use the same color on opposite sides, then there's one of the two sides which only has t minus 1 colors on it. And there's only t minus 1 colors. There's a subset that you missed. And so you didn't color that one. Just think about it to, to make sure that that's correct. So the point is that list coloring can be much harder, much harder than ordinary coloring. 